products get better with time? Wine, maybe? Violins, possibly? But it sounds a bit like a riddle, right? But there are products in the world that do get better over time. Our intelligent connected cars. Nowhere in the world is technology convergence more prevalent today than in the world of automotive designs. And it's this technological convergence that includes in-vehicle high-bandwidth networking, over-the-air updates, machine learning, and data telemetry and analytics that have allowed automotive designs to improve with time. But how do we facilitate innovation and hardware development in this complicated communications arena? With the help of a comprehensive vehicle to cloud infrastructure. That's how. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Today's intelligent, connected vehicle designs are smarter and safer than ever before. And this has a lot to do with a rapidly increasing technological convergence of sensors, machine learning, over the air updates, in vehicle high bandwidth networking and more. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Brian Carlson from NXP and I investigate NXP's new Gold VIP platform. We examine the benefits that this kind of software integration platform can bring to automotive designs and how you can take a test drive of the Gold VIP for yourself. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from NXP. Hi, Brian. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Good to be here again. Excellent. Okay, so tell me about these new intelligent connected vehicles and specifically how NXP is helping enable them. Sure. So we're going to talk about our gold VIP product that is ideal for providing an integration platform for these intelligent connected vehicles. We talked last year about the S32G and intelligent connected vehicles. Today, we'll focus on the software infrastructure that's helping to enable them. So what I'm showing here is intelligent connected vehicle has a lot of technologies that are converging. And the S32G, our device from NXP, is in the center of all this as the central gateway. Because within these new cars, they have real-time processing and high-performance processing sensors all over the vehicle and data that's coming into the gateway from those sensors. Machine learning, it's a hot topic everywhere, and especially in the vehicle now, you're seeing machine learning coming into a lot of aspects of you know, how things are perceived, how things are monitored within the vehicle. Of course, everything's now being connected to the cloud, and we're talking about a secure cloud connection and the processor working in conjunction with the cloud. High bandwidth networking, Ethernet is being proliferated through automotive now, uh, over-the-air updates through that cloud. So all of these things are coming uh, into play, and really the intelligent connected vehicle is made possible from the convergence of all these technologies. And what that enables is the ability to update the vehicles from the cloud to collect vehicle data, bring it to the cloud, train machine learning models and digital twins. These are things that allow uh, the car makers to monitor the vehicles, to improve the vehicles, and then bring new information down through over there updates to make those vehicles get better over time. They get smarter, they are safer, more secure, and new features get added over time, which customers love, right? Better experience over time. So that's what we're talking about. And S32G is a key processor and all that, really central to all of this and providing that secure connectivity to the cloud. So NXP's S32G processors play an important role to enable intelligent connected vehicles. But Brian, how does Gold VIP come into the picture? Great question. So last time we talked, we were talking about the S32G, but we didn't have the software at the time to bring it all together. And that's what we announced this year is this Gold VIP and what the VIP stands for is Vehicle Integration Platform. And what we wanted to do is integrate software from NXP, open source software, and partner software from our ecosystem to really bring an end-to-end -end 
uh, solution, really a seamless vehicle to cloud infrastructure that allows our customers to very quickly develop applications. They don't have to go through users' manuals and technical reference manuals and, and, and all of this. They can focus on their innovations and develop applications on top of the S32G. In fact, we show the chip there, we have the board, and we have what's called the gold box, which is really, really popular. People are buying those by the dozens to deploy those, even in vehicles for prototyping. What this is really good at, the key use cases that this is targeted for are around what that gateway is doing. And it's the in-vehicle networking. It's about how do I securely move data across the vehicle? How do I support cloud services with secure connectivity to a cloud service provider, providing services within the vehicle within that gateway? I touched on machine learning. That's becoming more and more important to be able to monitor what's going on in the vehicle and look for anomalies or security violations or other instances in the vehicle where you need to find potential issues that are going on. With that cloud, and we'll talk more about this later, I think, is data telemetry, bringing the data to the cloud and doing data analytics both on the edge and in the cloud, and then having that loop where I analyze the data and improve the vehicle through over-the-air updates. At the same time, I want to be able to run multiple applications at the same time, so I need virtualization and isolation between those applications, and it has to be secure. So having security not only on the networks, but having security services to support activities on the part, as well as secure communications to the cloud. So this addresses all of those use cases packages it up into a complete integration platform. And the whole goal, at the end of the day, what we wanted to do is to accelerate customers to develop, first of all, to evaluate our silicon, to understand what the S32G does, and to run benchmarks on it to understand the key value propositions and see that for themselves, right? Not just show them PowerPoint slides, but give them a platform they can actually get up run, test it out, and understand the performance. That was the first thing. The second was to be able to give them a way very quickly to create a gateway through configuration. They can create their own gateways. And finally, to be able to provide that complete vehicle to cloud infrastructure that allows them to rapidly develop applications, uh, do proof of concepts, and people are trying to take this now into actual full products. So it serves multiple purposes. So, Brian, before we dive into Gold VIP some more, let's take a step back. How does the S32G process support all these use cases? What's inside of this processor? Yeah, good question. That is really important to kind of set the foundation of before we just jump into the software. So let's talk a little bit about that. At a high level, S32G is a new type of automotive processor, what we call a vehicle network processor. And it combines technologies from the automotive world, the enterprise world, and the security world, like the banking and e-passport business. NXP is a leader in these markets. And what we did is bring these technologies together into a single device the size of your fingernail, really. The key three areas are the processing, first of all, right? It's a processor. So we have lockstep Cortex-M7s and the ability also to lockstep Cortex-A53s. Now, M7s are for real-time microcontroller applications combined with the microprocessors, provide us a very solid heterogeneous to address a wide range of applications. The key thing there about lockstep, that's one part of our functional safety capabilities I'll talk later, that allows us to run in a safe environment such as automotive. The other key part here is bringing in the enterprise networking world because Automotive is becoming more and more like the data center, like enterprise, using more Ethernet, having lots of network interfaces. And that's really why it's called a vehicle network processor, because it can support a wide range and a large number of interfaces like CAN, CANFD, 20 of those, four gigabit Ethernet interfaces up to 2.5 gigabits per second. And then we have what's really unique are accelerators, hardware accelerators, for the CAN traffic, for the Ethernet IP packets, we can offload that traffic and do intelligence on it in hardware accelerators so you don't have to bog down the processors. And that's really important in these applications because you want to use the processors to do intelligence, right? That's the intelligent part of the connected vehicle. We also have PCI Express, which is becoming really important for connecting these chips to other chips and also to peripherals like solid state drives, wireless Wi-Fi and wireless modems, 
as well as uh, AI machine learning accelerators. And we do all of those with this processor by just connecting those directly through PCI Express. The other big part fundamental to everything we do in NXP Automotive is providing a very high level, the highest level of functional safety, ASIL D, which allows this part to go into a variety of applications beyond even the gateway. It is very unique because it is supporting what we call fail operational, which means if there is a fault within this device, it can identify the fault and recover from the fault because there's redundancy. So for example, this becomes very important in autonomous vehicles where you don't want to just stop in the middle of the road. Uh, It'll actually be able to limp home or to be able to pull to the side of the road and operate at least in some capacity. That is a unique technology that this offers, as well as a hardware security engine, which provides a very high level of security that comes in from our bank card and e-passport business that supports public key infrastructure. So it's a really a powerhouse of capabilities all integrated into one chip. And this is being used in a wide variety of applications as shown from vehicle computers through gateways and safety controllers and even advanced telematics devices. So it's very broad, all based on safety and security. So, Brian, I can definitely see how the S32G processor can do a lot of applications in the vehicle. Is this done with one processor or is there a family of these processors? Yeah, and since we last talked last summer, we introduced late last year a new series. So, the S32G family is comprised of two series, the S32G series, which went into production last May, are already in production vehicles. There's a range of devices from a microcontroller only version up to a fully loaded with three microcontrollers and four application processors with up to eight megabytes of SRAM. But what's exciting is that we introduced this new G3 series that we are in sampling mode now and will go to production in first quarter of 23. And that increases the performance by 2.6x, increases the memory by 2.5x, and increases the networking capabilities. The beauty of this is that these are software compatible and they're also package pinout compatible. So we have customers that design today with one of the S32G processors. And if they want more performance, more services, more capabilities in their vehicles in the future, they can populate that same product with an S32G3. So it allows us to not only support a wide range of applications today, but give us and our customers the ability to expand into more applications with higher performance in the future. Fantastic. Now, Brian, how do NXP's customers design with these S32G processors? Do you have a development platform they can use? Yeah, so we have a really popular platform that is being used across the industry. We have a board only called the Reference Design Board 2 or RDB2 that's shown here. And We provide a rugged enclosure called the Gold Box because what we found was that customers wanted to actually put these in vehicles. We're not an automotive tier one. Our intent is not to provide boxes into vehicles, but for prototyping and testing and such, OEMs and tier ones found this board to be really valuable. So we did offer it in a ruggedized package that they could actually cable up, install in a vehicle and drive uh, drive down the road. So we offered in both configurations, same board, so same software. It provides up to 12 ethernet ports, So we have one of our 10-port TSN Ethernet switches. We bring out 18 of the 20 CAN interfaces. I talked about the support with the PCI Express. We bring that out also to M.2 modules. So you can slide in a terabyte of automotive-grade storage. You can slide in a Halo 8 machine learning accelerator or other PCI Express-based M.2 accelerators for machine learning. And all of this comes in a complete package with schematics, with uh, layout, and everything that our customers need. So from a hardware perspective, this really provides our customers a fast path to their hardware development and for running that gold VIP that we'll talk about in a little bit on these platforms. Fantastic. Now, it looks like this S32G hardware platforms offer a lot of capabilities. How are you seeing designers using them today? Yeah, originally this was designed as a reference so people could use this to develop their products. And they have. There's major OEMs that take this 
we do provide, as I mentioned, the bomb, the schematic, and layout. And they do use that as a starting point because that gives them a rapid way to develop their hardware. But interestingly, that this has become very popular throughout the automotive industry. With car makers first, they're doing a lot of proof of concepts. They're doing benchmarking. They're getting all kinds of vehicle data insights by connecting all those interfaces up to different networks within their vehicle. They're deploying new services to this product and actually kind of doing advanced research and uh, proof of concepts on new services. Beyond the car makers, if we look at the whole ecosystem of application developers, even those that are coming from the data center and other markets, they're seeing automotive as the growth area. So we're seeing this as an innovation platform where they're developing new applications, bringing their expertise of security and other types of processing into the automotive space. They're using this to develop the software, to test and validate software. And this gold box becomes a really nice platform to showcase what they can do. And we saw actually several of these at Embedded World recently where a lot of companies are starting to use these as their demo platform. And then finally, cloud and service providers. They see this as a great platform to connect their world to the automotive world, and it provides the gateway to the cloud. So doing this, what I call symbiotic compute, where the vehicle edge is working with the cloud, supporting over-the-air updates, machine learning deployment, and also new vehicle services deployments from the cloud vendors. So it's providing a tremendous amount of value across the automotive industry, and it's really accelerating the automotive ecosystem. So Brian, now that we know more about the S32G and its hardware platforms, let's go back to Gold VIP. What exactly is it? There we go. Yeah, so definitely want to get the background of the way so we know what we're talking about. We know about the chip. We know about the hardware. You can't have a solution without software. And this is a key thing that NXP has been really focused on over the last several years is to go beyond just providing a chip and here's a board. The industry's changing. More value and more software is expected and NXP has been taking a lead here. So Goal VIP is a huge step for us to take it forward. Rather than just provide software components like here's a board support package or here's some drivers or here's an auto SAR MCAL, different discrete software components. What we wanted to do is to bring the whole software stack together so customers can start running very quickly. And we do that, the approach we took was combining NXP software, which allows us to showcase the value of the S32G, the features and performance to allow our customers to evaluate the silicon and to abstract the hardware for the rapid development of applications by our customers. On top of that, we've developed a pretty large ecosystem of partners, and this gives them a platform to port their software and their secret sauce and their innovations on top of. So what we decided to do was to integrate that onto the platform. So we're working, we have partners on there today, and we'll continue to expand to integrate partner software on top. And that provides even more value on top of the NXP software. And then it allows us also to take it to the next level with system integrators, with cloud service providers, with additional specialized application providers. So it really is a product uh, that allows us to integrate a lot of innovation very quickly and to allow our customers to be able to develop and leverage all of that infrastructure to have the cloud, to have over-the-air updates, to have the security, and to have the development environment to be able to create innovations very quick. So if you look at the benefits, right, for customers, it's about that faster, more efficient evaluation. There's reduced risk for them because now they don't have to work with a third-party vendor and try to do all this on their own, right? It's already been pre-integrated. That reduces their risk and it accelerates their time to market and allows them to develop software on top of it and do their proof of concept. So it's very valuable to customers from that perspective. Uh, From a partner perspective, it's a great tool for them because it allows them to pre-integrate ahead of the customer programs, so allows them to get into a customer faster. It gives them a wide exposure to the whole automotive industry because it's in here. This goes out to all the major OEMs and tier ones, so they get in front of these customers. And it allows us to do synergistic collaboration opportunities and provide, I would say, one plus one equals three, right? Between what we provide, what they provide, we can do some really interesting collaboration together with our partners that provide 
provide value to the customers. And then finally for NXP, again, showcasing what we can do with this part, showing actual use cases. We, out of the box, you can actually run through many use cases and see what it can do. It allows us to improve our software too, because we find that when you integrate into a complete solution like this, you learn a lot about your software, right? You can stress test it. You can run multiple use cases in parallel, and it allows us to find any bugs or optimization paths before our customers, all right? We can do this ahead of time. And it really becomes a common platform for us for streamlined support. So instead of having to deal at the lowest levels of hardware, we work with customers at the higher level of software, and it makes it streamlined support for everybody. So at the end of the day, this provides a lot of value to customers, partners, and NXP. So it sounds like Gold VIP is bringing together a lot of software capabilities to address designers' use cases. But what's under the cover of Gold VIP? Yeah, so there's multiple layers here. And again, it's a combination of NXP software and third-party software. So what we're trying to do is bring in the best of all worlds together. And that allows us to give them a platform that they can rapidly develop on. So in this figure, you see the blue boxes. Those are the NXP firmware and software. And those are developed to automotive quality standards. And this includes firmware for those accelerators like the hardware security engine, the packet forwarding engine, and the communications engine. And all of those are the accelerators. We provide that out of the box. We also leverage the Zen hypervisor. It's a type one hypervisor that allows our customers to create multiple virtual machines. So we adapt this and allow them to, out of the box, support two instances of Linux, one that's targeted for vehicle services, another one for cloud and cloud services, uh, and the other one for in-vehicle networking and security applications within the gateway. So it really provides a lot of flexibility in how they run different operating systems on top of that hypervisor. And then we have the open source capabilities, the green boxes for rapid prototyping, things like Python and Java. Uh, we use the Kubernetes K3S for container orchestration that enables services to be deployed. And then we work with third-party partners. Those are the gold or orange boxes. And those are really important because those provide things like uh, adaptive Autosar, Autosar Classic, which are real-time environments and a service-oriented environment, as well as security. So we work closely with Argus for intrusion detection and prevention systems. So out of the box, you get Ethernet and CAN security on those connections. And we have a close relationship with AWS, Amazon Web Services. So out of the box, you get secure connectivity, integrated support for AWS's IoT Greengrass and IoT Fleetwise, which allows you to capture data very efficiently. You can find the data you need at the right time. And that feeds into over 200 services in the cloud and things like machine learning training, very efficient data collection, and then site-wise in the cloud, which will show visualization of your real-time data and what's going on on the processor. And then on top of all this, if that wasn't enough, we also include the over-the-air capabilities. So we worked with Airbiquity. This is key for anything. For a software-defined vehicle going forward, you need to have that feedback loop between the cloud and the vehicle. So you're updating software remotely, you're adding new features, you're making that vehicle more efficient, safer, secure over time, right? That's the intelligent connected vehicle portion of it. And ultimately, we bring all this together so customers can write applications on top of it and allows them to focus on the valued applications that will differentiate them rather than them having to spend all that time to do integration with partners and, and debugging and all of that. So it's really a fast start for our customers. So Brian, can you tell me more about Gold VIP's software development environment? How can software developers create their own applications for the S32G? Gold VIP supports a rich software development environment for both the application side under the Linux side, as well as real-time processing side, the AutoSAR side that runs on the Cortex-M7. So we provide the complete software development environment for both. As I mentioned, we have the Zen Project Type 1 hypervisor that supports multiple Linux virtual machines for applications and services. And it also has that rapid prototyping environment. So we support Python scripting languages you know, like Python, Java that run under Linux. 
And then on the real-time side with the Cortex-M7 cores, we support the Autosar Classic platform and real-time drivers, the CAN gateway, and all of that's configurable with EB Traceos tools that we provide out of the box also. So it really truly is a complete software development environment, both for the application side as well as the real-time side that really provides a nice platform for rapid prototyping. Excellent. Now, I can see how Gold VIP provides CAN and Ethernet gateway capabilities as well as cloud connectivity. But Brian, how does this all come together? Can you give me an example? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is one of the big, I would say, benefits of the Gold VIP product is the integration of all of this, integration of CAN and Ethernet Gateway. Because you can look, uh, there's a lot of complexity there, right? A lot of paths between, you're talking on this board, 20 CAN interfaces and 12 Ethernet interfaces or 18 and 12. And we provide the ability between the hardware accelerators and the software here to offload the traffic, as well as integration of a 10-port TSN, time-sensitive network networking Ethernet switch. All of that's already integrated onto the platform. We take it one step further, though, is we allow telemetry to come off of this board, whether it's within the gateways, within the Ethernet switch, and we can demonstrate how the performance is on this platform at various points within the architecture. We have the ability to do statistics of the network accelerator usage, the real-time processor cores, the memory utilization, the network traffic, even the temperature of the device. So with this telemetry all in place, customers can leverage all of that and use it for their own data. So if they wanted to stream specific data from their applications to the cloud, they can leverage that. And we also have the over-the-air update support, as I mentioned, from Arabiquity that allows us to update that platform remotely. And that can be done for the real-time images on the Cortex-M7s or the Linux virtual machines. And we can even update external ECUs that are connected to the gold box. So it really provides an end-to-end solution with the telemetry that gives customers the visibility into what's going on on the board and within the parts. So, Brian, how does a developer get visualization of the telemetry you just mentioned? So one of the advantages of the cloud is that platform, especially if this is a vehicle, you want to view this data, you could view it anywhere in the world by using telemetry to the cloud. And that's what we take advantage of here. We leverage the AWS IoT SiteWise, which is a visualization tool in the cloud. And this opens up a lot of possibilities for car OEMs and tier ones and their business partners to provide remote services that optimize operations and create value for car owners. We provide the ability through our telemetry dashboards. We provide several of those for things like resource monitoring. And we're showing that in this dashboard, for example, so you can see how much CPU usage, how much packet forwarding, and how much of the packet load and CPU load is being used. There's other views here for memory usage and temperature, et cetera. We have dashboards for security monitoring, Ethernet, switch traffic statistics, and even machine learning results. And that's a really exciting area. So basically, we allow our customers to also leverage this visualization through SiteWise in the AWS cloud to be able to visualize their data. And this is just a great, I think, overview of that, the slides showing some of that information that allows developers to not only see the value and performance of the S32G processor, but allows them to optimize their code because they can visually see what's going on in the part. So Brian, I saw that Gold VIP provides container orchestration. That sounds really interesting. So explain to me what it is and what it does. So this is a technology that comes from uh, data centers, and we see a lot of new technologies entering into the space of automotive. We see developers and technologies that leverage this platform to do that. And this is one of those instances where we leverage containers, which are like lightweight virtualization packages. They confine applications to their own support files and entire runtime environment. Basically, they're isolated applications that can be deployed onto the platform remotely. So it's a great way to isolate the applications from each other and the rest of the system. And it's a great way to be able to deploy new applications to run on S32G and on this Gold VIP platform. So it's a key technology. Again, we're leveraging it from the data center. And I think this is going to be a key technology that really accelerates the implementation of software-defined vehicles. 
So you can use these containers to provide new services, new applications. And in fact, we leverage these ourselves. Uh, we show a couple of them. We use a container for the over-the-air update client as well as update agents. So we leverage these containers ourselves for services and customers can deploy their new services to the platform through this container orchestration through Kubernetes K3S. And you see the K3S server and K3S agent that's part of the platform. So it's really an exciting technology that allows this platform to be used in a lot of other applications that can deploy services to the platform. So Brian, it seems like machine learning is coming up everywhere these days. So how does NXP support it with Gold VIP on the S32G? Can you give me an example of that? Yeah, sure. We actually spent a lot of time in the area of machine learning across NXP and specifically in automotive. We have a product called EIQ Auto. And what we did is actually integrate support with EIQ Auto for machine learning applications. And it's a great product because what it allows you to do is develop and train machine learning models. And it comes with an automotive grade inferencing engine that runs right on the S32G. We take it a step further. We leverage that uh, visual I talked about. So we have templates for machine learning. And we show an example here. We're actually using a couple of models and several of the machine learning frameworks. So I think here we're showing a predictive maintenance model. We're driving real data into the S32G Ethernet port from a Linux PC, which feeds it data that runs two inferencing engines on the S32G with two different types of approaches. And at the end of the day, we're predicting the remaining useful life of a battery. This is actually a battery management system. And we also monitor the machine learning model's execution time. So we're actually showing this here. So you could be developing your machine learning model with NXP's EIQ Auto with this package. You can run it directly on the S32G real time, running data real time in through it through the Ethernet port and in real time showing the model predictions with various types of models and showing the actual model execution time. So this gives a great environment for our customers to develop machine learning models, to execute them on an automotive grade inferencing engine and to visualize them. So this is a very powerful capability to develop new machine learning applications that run on the S32G processors. And I mentioned this one is for predictive maintenance. We also have another one for battery management. And those are just two examples that come out of the box. So Brian, Gold VIP really offers a wide range of capabilities. How do you deliver and demonstrate it to your designers? Yeah, so each Gold VIP release comes with a binary, and that binary has all of the code for the processor cores, the accelerators, the Ethernet switch. We show all those different engines. That's all packaged up, and that comes as a binary. But we also include Yocto recipes, and including the source code, so that the developers can leverage Gold VIP and leveraging that with the project manifest, the Yocto meta layer, they can build their own Gold VIP image. So kind of the best of both worlds. Out of the box, they can be up and running. And what we say is within 10 minutes, they can see the value of S32G with all the use cases it comes with. And they have the ability with the Yocto to build their own image that is customized for their needs. What we show here is a laptop. So we do require a laptop to connect to it, which will run Ubuntu Linux. So you can have a Windows machine with a Linux virtual machine. This would run a Docker container. So another example of using containers, but this is on the laptop. So we're using a container on the laptop that's running the graphical user interface, all the control scripts, uh, visualization, local visualization too. So we have the cloud visualization and local visualization and allows us to control and see what's going on with all of those use cases that we showcase out of the box. And then we also provide an AWS serverless application model that allows our customers to replicate all the telemetry dashboards, and they can use this in their own AWS account. So there's the support for all the telematics, the analytics out of the box. They just load that up on their AWS account, and they're up and running. So it's a very simple process. Sounds like it. Now, Brian, where can our listeners go to get the hardware and software to support their S32G development with Gold VIP? 
Yeah, so definitely the best place we have working with Mauser, these are available, the S32G RDB2. So that's the board itself. Uh, if you are just in a lab environment on the desktop, you don't need the box, then that's the board for you. Um, if you want something that needs to go into a ruggedized environment, that's available also, the Gold Box. And the Gold VIP software, it's free. That's the great thing. It's available now. You can go to nxp.com slash gold VIP, download it. You get an incredible amount of value and capabilities right out of the box. We also have on nxp.com the S32 Design Studio, which is an integrated development environment, it really has all the tools and everything you need to develop applications. So software side, everything's free. It's just the one-time investment on the hardware, either the RDB2 or the Gold Box. And we really make an end-to-end solution with Gold VIP. It really brings it all together to develop software, visualize results, and rapidly deploy prototype proof of concepts and develop software on the S32G. Excellent. Brian, thank you so much for the insights into intelligent connected vehicles, S32G, and how Gold VIP is helping NXP customers develop their software faster. But before we go, do you have any final thoughts? Thanks, Amelia. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you kind of next stage beyond the hardware, right? Software is what brings it all together. And we're seeing tremendous momentum in the industry around the Gold Box and now the Gold VIP to evaluate the S32G silicon to develop software and rapidly prototype their proof of concept. So together with the hardware, it really provides a powerful software integration platform that supports our efforts. And contact Mauser, the silicon and hardware, and the Gold VIP today and the tools all available for free on nxp.com. So I just really encourage your audience to check it out. At least check it out at nxp.com slash Gold VIP and learn more and let us help you start your journey with the S32G today. Thank you so much, Brian. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks again. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from NXP. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash ee journal.